Hi, I'm Andrew. Today I would like to teach you how to use a table to help determine the end behavior of several functions. So if you want to use the table method, this video is definitely great to watch. If you want a more algebraic method, I'm going to leave a link in the description below uh, for some videos I've done that way. There's so many ways to solve particular problems, right? And uh, it's good to know of a multitude of ways. So let's take a look at how to use a table. So first thing I'm going to do is basically take this function and plug it on into the calculator. Now you don't have to plug it into the calculator to create a table. But to save a little time, I'm going to do that. And I'll teach you just very quickly how the table uh, works itself out. And you can do it then by hand if you like. So just go to y equals. And let's plug in this function x squared we see. So it's x squared. All right. And then we're going to uh, open parentheses. And then it's going to be 1 minus x, close the parentheses, and then square it. Okay? Now, what you can do is then go to your table. All right, so hit second table, and you should get a readout. Now, your table might not look identical to what I have here. Um, so if you want, just hit second window. That brings you to the table set. You can start your table at 0, and then you can increment your table however you like. Go up by 5 units, 10 units. Why don't we do 10 in this particular case? All right? So then hit second graph again, so that brings up the table. And we'll scroll up a little bit, okay, something like that, so we get like an equal picture. So here's here's the table, all right, let's take it, let's bring that on in, and here we go. Okay, so if you notice, oh, by the way, so <laughs> big part, so how would you create this table, right, if you didn't have the calculator? All this is, is x just represents the input, so if you plugged zero in for x here in this equation, guess what y would work out to be? y would work out to be 0. Or in other words, your f of x would work out to be 0. right? If you plugged in then negative 10 uh, into uh, this equation for x, if you plugged in negative 10 there, and you plugged in negative 10 there, and you solved it all out, the y value would work out to be about 12,100, okay, etc. So that's all you got to do. right? So to create a table, just simply make up some x values. right? I would increment them equally. Uh, make some negative, make some positive, and then let's see what the heck's going to happen. Okay? So, as x becomes more and more negative, what's the trend you're noticing in the y? It's becoming bigger and bigger and bigger, right? But in the positive direction. So as x becomes bigger and bigger and bigger in the negative direction, y is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger in the positive direction. Now, how do we say that mathematically? Well, we simply say as x goes to negative infinity, as it gets bigger and bigger and bigger in the negative direction, the y value, or you can plug in f of x there, they're both the same thing, tomato, tomato, works its way to a very big number, or aka positive infinity. Conversely, if I looked at it now going the other way, right, as x is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger in the positive direction, y is also actually, wait a minute, it's becoming bigger and bigger and bigger in the positive direction as well. So what that means is that as x goes to a very large number in the positive direction, aka positive infinity, I know it's not a number, it's an idea, but you know, you know what I mean, then the y value of the function, or the f of x value, will go to positive infinity as well. And that's what they mean by end behavior. They mean, what is this, what's going to happen to this function, all right, as x gets really, really large in the negative direction, as it goes one way, and then as x uh, becomes really, really positive as it goes the other way, what happens to the function, okay? You can also graph this thing, right? You can hit second graph on your calculator, and you can, oh, not second graph, sorry, just graph, and you can get a picture of what this thing's going to do, right? Visually, there's so many ways to do that. And you can kind of clearly see now here, right? Notice here, I'll just pull it in. Notice here, right, that the function is going on and on and on forever in both of these directions. Maybe I should have used blue, right? That might have been a little better. Notice how they're going on and on and on forever in those directions, right? Uh, it's going on and on and on forever in the positive y direction both ways. That's what we said is going to happen. There's so many ways to do this, all right? So, Let's try now the, oops, let's try now the next one. All right, the next equation on over here. So let's just plug that into the calculator. All right, this one I'm going to speed through a little bit. Let's clear out that function. And we're going to start uh, plugging it in. So parentheses, uh, x minus 1, close the parentheses, open the parentheses, x minus 2, good. Close the parentheses, open the parentheses, 3 minus x, and then close the parentheses. Now hit second table. And here's now a nice little output, okay? So let's analyze it. And let's see what's happening to x and y, right? So as x is becoming larger and larger in the negative direction, what's happening to the y values? Well, it looks like 
it's becoming larger and larger and larger in the positive direction, right? So basically we can say as x works out to be a really large negative number, in other words, negative infinity, f of x or the y value of the function will go all the way to positive infinity. That's it. Now let's look at it in the opposite direction, right? As x becomes larger and larger and larger in the positive direction, what's happening to the values of y? It's becoming larger but in the negative direction. So as x works its way to positive infinity, the function's value f of x or aka the y value is moving to negative infinity. And that's what they mean by n behavior, okay? And uh, yeah, so I hope this video helps you out at all. Uh, if it did, give us a hand. Like, subscribe, maybe even tell some of your classmates. All right, I look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.